Jack Knight Winters. This is Jack Frost University. And I'm here in uh, Broomfield. I'm in my, my favorite coffee shop in Broomfield, Caribou Coffee. It's because they got stones in their, their uh, the building here. I like any kind of natural elements. So I'm here with some trees and some stones and whatnot. This is my pinnacle necklace. It's one of my favorite sweaters. So, uh, you know, I, I wanted to talk about the crown, the king's crown, and, and stones today. Um, I'm, a, I'm a kind of a student of the Bible. I'm not sure if I would consider myself a Christian uh, anymore. Um, but I definitely know the Bible very well, and I've been studying it and researching things uh, in detail for quite some time, for about 20 years. And one of the themes that I come across um, is the, the king's crown. The king has a crown, right? And in that crown are precious jewels. Okay, and I've always been interested in, in history and wondering, you know, where does this stuff come from? And um, after much inquiry and asking uh, God or the universe to answer this question for me, I finally got the answer about a year ago. Um, so for those of you who, few subscribers that know me well, um, or, or know me in part, uh, I have a very particular, very unique way that the universe speaks to me. Um, you know, when we start off in our faith, or we start off on a spiritual quest, um, we, we often go to church and we, we need a pastor to kind of speak, um, kind of be the middleman between us and, and God or universe. But as you get older and you move beyond the fourth dimension into the fifth dimension and beyond, um, you can actually, ha uh, I, I would say, program your mind or program uh, or, or request that the universe speak to you in a very specific way. So the universe speaks to me through animals like the crow and raven uh, and I can, you know, birds and animals and stuff like that. It's called animal speak. The Native Americans are very familiar with this. Um, just nature, okay? Um, and the other way that the universe speaks to me is through stones. So, and it's, you know, I, I feel like it's unique and it's really exciting when the universe does speak to you using stones. And I'm going to give you an example of that today. Um, so, uh, the king's crown, right? It has stones. Okay, stones. Now, the, the king's authority, you know, they say the, the, the crown is the king's authority. You know, like London has the crown of London. Okay. But the crown and, and the staff, or the scepter, the iron scepter, which is representative, of the, you know, symbolic of authority. You know, those are just items when it comes down to it. Uh, a crown and a bunch of stones and a staff. All, all those are just symbolic. Okay. The important thing to note is that they're symbolic of people. Okay. So a king has, it, it, you can lose the crown. It can get, you know, thrown in a fire pit or something. You know, it could be destroyed. But does that mean his kingdom is finished? No, it's not, because he still has people working for him, okay? And that's what the crown is symbolic of. The stones and the jewels in the crown is symbolic of his staff, okay? His team, his network of people, okay? Um, if you're going to be a king in the 21st century and any other century, you need, you have a lot of subjects and you have a lot of land and you need people to govern that land. You need law enforcement, okay? You need sheriffs, county sheriffs. You need um, people to administer the land, you know? Uh, I always feel like you need a, a doctor, a mechanic, and uh, stuff like that, and an attorney. I can, <laughs> I can conquer the world with a doctor, a mechanic, and a, an attorney. Um, but you need, a, a king has a staff, he has a crown, okay? He's got, his authority comes from the people, that are helping him out, his, his staff, okay? Um, so the crown is merely symbolic, okay? It's a symbolic uh, item, it's a token. It's a token of his authority, but it's not the real authority. The authority is the people. And so stones are symbolic of people, okay? So just to show you that, that how you can program the universe to speak to you, I, I say, hey, when you speak to me, use stones, use animals, because it's exciting, it's fun, you know. Um, and it's not, a, it's not religious, and it's, it's just really neat. It's a, re it's a neat system. So about 
two months ago, I get this message from the universe saying I'm, gonna, I'm about to give you a black obsidian. Now I know what black obsidian is. Black obsidian helps you ward off evil spirits. It's a protector stone, okay? And I was, I was excited. I was like, okay. Now my understanding of evil spirits is different from everyone else. I'm very familiar with the Roman death cult, which currently is, is ruling the planet. Um, all judges that wear black robes, all, all witches wear black robes, okay? All police officers wear black, okay? If you, know, if you chase up the power hierarchy and you climb up the ladder of, of authority and hier the hierarchy, um, it all comes from the Vatican, all comes from London, okay? It's the death cult, okay? Roman death cult or Roman sex cult, but it's the death cult of Vale, okay? Um, I'm not particularly fond of it because it, it always ends up peeking, making slaves out of people and treating people like objects instead of humans. Um, so I find it oppressive. Okay, I consider cops and judges to be evil spirits. So when the universe said, I'm about to give you a black obsidian to help you ward off the evil spirits, I got really excited, okay? Sure, sure enough, it was only about two or three weeks later, I meet this uh, new friend, I bump into him at the library, and this guy just rattles off information about law. Non-stop. Every time we get together, just nothing but law comes out of his mouth. I'm like, cool. And he knows about banking law and about uh, how the banking system works. You know, even the Rothschild said if people understood how the banking system works, there would be a revolution by tomorrow morning. <laughs> okay, this is Rothschild saying that. So uh, this guy knows a lot about banking law. And just to kind of prove it, you know, we went into a bank, Wells Fargo branch, a big one, and a general manage, manager of uh, big accounts, like over over a million dollars in accounts, um, just big, big dollar accounts. He comes out and he starts talking to this new friend I just made, his name is Brendan, um, and he's impressed. The banker, investment manager, is impressed with, with my friend. Okay, so that's how I know that this guy knows his stuff, okay? So it's really neat. And, uh, you know, I, I think people should get down with this. This is a really neat way to, to, for the universe to communicate through you, through animal speak and through stones. Um, so I got my black obsidian. You know, a lot of people are always talking about black obsidian. They hold the stones on them. They have the necklaces. They keep the stones in their pocket. And they think that they have some kind of power. I don't really particularly think that the stones have any power. It's just a rock. You know what I mean? It's inanimate. It can't help you out that much. Um, I don't think the magic is behind the stones. The magic is in the people that the stones represent. Okay, my personality is that of an emerald, so I have like this big love thing that spans throughout the lifetimes. I've had people tell me I have big love, um, like a mature kind of love for people. Um, I, so I'm high of emerald energy. I'm very, very grounded, um, and I'll go into that later. But it's uh, So I got my black obsidian. Which is exciting, okay? So I, I, that's part of my crown, you know, that's my metaphorical crown. I got the black obsidian in there now. And he's helping me with a lot of law uh, paperwork. Um, helping me figure out this sovereign stuff to see if it's actually real. I must want to say it is. But, so there it is. I got my black obsidian. It's a person. All these stones represent people, okay? The, the, the jewels and the crown, it's symbolic. Those are all peoples. Because a king needs a staff and a crew and a team to help him out, right? To manage his life, to manage other people's lives. So that's all I really wanted to say. All right.